Watch Commander Isla reporting for duty. You relieved? Wait. Picking up disturbance. Trying to get a fix. Jump point forming in Sector 3. Great Baker. Activating mines! Notify Centauri Prime! Tell them we're under attack! Tell them it's the... Have you seen the commander? I've tried linking in. He's not responding. In that case, he's in the observation dome. How do you know? Oh, right. You're new here. He only turns off his link for 10 minutes a day. And when he does, that's where you can find him. But why? There's no traffic due in for a while. The dome's on standby. No one's there. Exactly. Ah, uh, Mr. Garibaldi! Oh, boy. Commander. There's a problem. All I'm asking is that you trust me. Trust you. Londo, my brain will be five days dead before I ever trust a Centauri. The first time we met you people, mm -hmm. the first time we met any other civilization, you told us you practically ran the entire galaxy. What was it you said? A huge empire. Come on, public relations. Only that hasn't been true for almost 100 years. Then you give us this line about how Earth is some lost Centauri tribe, making us distant relatives, until we finally got our hands on some Centauri DNA and find out we're not related at all. Appearances aside, we're two completely different species. A clerical error. A clerical error. Yes, we thought your world was Beta 9, it was actually Beta 12. Okay, we made a mistake. I'm sorry, here, open my wrists. Centauri don't have major arteries in their wrists. Of course we don't, what do you think, I'm stupid? Do you know what your problem is, Mr. Garibaldi? You're not a people person. Well, ambassador, Ambassador. Uh, Mr. Garibaldi, have you met my diplomatic staff? Just arrived from the home world. This is it. Ambassador. Yes, be what? Commander Sinclair, <laughs> it's good to see you again. And you, it's been a while. This is my first officer, Lieutenant Commander Susan Ivanova. Susan, Dr. Stephen Franklin, our new medical chief of staff. A pleasure. I followed your work while I was stationed back home. We're honored to have you aboard. No, oh, thank you. Ran into Dr. Kyle at the transfer point on Io. He sends his regards. He's really looking forward to working with the president. It's a great opportunity. Well, with so many aliens migrating to Earth, we need more people like him back home. So. When do I start? As soon as you'd like. Sinclair. We're getting a disturbance in the gem gate, Commander. Thought you'd want to check it out. All right. On my way. If you'll see the good doctor this Still haven't told me when the Commander is due back. Soon. How soon is soon? Longer than a little while, faster than later. He took out a fighter to check out a damaged transport. Isn't that sort of job usually delegated to someone else? Commander's a hands-on kind of guy. He'll grab any chance to take out a ship. He's like that. Well, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen him since I came aboard. Have you ever tried one of these? What is it? I'm not sure. According to the translator, it's either an aphrodisiac or a floor wax. Can't decide if it's worth the risk or not. Mr. Garibaldi. Please, Michael. Did I mention I really enjoy your broadcasts? You know, if this interview hadn't been set up weeks ago by Earth Force Public Relations, I'd swear that Commander Sinclair did not want to be interviewed by Interstellar Network News. I can't imagine that. This is supposed to be an event. This is the second anniversary of Babylon 5 going online. We took a poll when this station first opened, and 75% of ISN viewers said that this place wouldn't even last five minutes. Lloyds of London put the odds of this station surviving even one year at 500 to 1. Against. 
there a bathroom around here? Third door to your left. That way. The one with the blue marker is for methane breathers only. I'd steer clear if I were you. What the hell? If that thing leaves a waxy yellow buildup on anything, I'm coming back here. Julie, hand me that separator over there. I've just about got the RNA strand where I want it. Get it yourself. Matt, what are you doing here? I was in the sector. I thought I'd stop by and visit my favorite student. I've come to offer you an adventure, Stephen. Very possibly the biggest adventure you've ever had. What kind of adventure? Now, you'll find out soon enough. Savor the mystery, Stephen. We don't get nearly enough of them. Tired? Yeah, long day. But your ship's the last one in. So anything to declare? Uh, any plants, non-sentient pets, organic matter? Nothing organic, just some pottery and stonework. Mm, funny thing. Bottom of this box on the inside is four inches shorter than the bottom of the box on the outside. Like there was a hidden compartment in here. If I didn't know any better, I might think you were trying to smuggle something in. Not a chance. No, it's just packing material to protect the stuff. 